I consider this a very important moment in our campaign to uh, give government back to the people of the city of Cleveland. And to have the support of Congresswoman Okar, it, to me, uh, there's no one the people of Cleveland identify more with than Mary Rose Okar, who served with this, this community for 16 years, right? Well, 16, well, 16 years. Right, but 16 years in your next That's right, like right. you. Right, she and I have both served Congress 16 years, pretty much the same position. Uh, Congresswoman Okar. Yes. Well, uh, Dennis, it's, uh, if I can call you Dennis still, uh, yeah. uh, it is a privilege to endorse you because I think you're best for the job. It's that simple. However, I would like to get a few of the ideas that I have in endorsing you and not some of the other people since we have so many people running. Number one, the city is in great need of somebody experienced. We have great cultural assets, but we are the poorest city in the world. Our people are suffering from violence and crime, uh, and uh, they need jobs. And you really have uh, access to getting us our needs. First of all, you've been in more offices than anybody I can think of, and you won the re-election. So never appointed. So you've been a council person, which I'm sort of here. Uh, the mayor, you've been the clerk of courts, you've been a state senator, uh, you've been a member of Congress. If you need funds to train those police, you can go to Washington and tell President Biden, whom you know, to give you a grant for that if, if you don't have enough money and the city's going to get a windfill of money in the near future. And I like what you're going to do. You're going to have more police. There isn't a ward in this city that doesn't want more police protection and less violence, which is awful. Clear. Secondly, we need jobs. And you've always been for regular people in need of jobs. And I know you're creative, and you'll help train them uh, if they need training and find the avenues with the unions and others to get them jobs. Thirdly, you promised me that you will beef up the Department of Aging. Now, I was appalled. I called there. I think they're doing some good things. But I wrote the bill on elder abuse, and I find out that a person who calls is abused and, and, and gets to the phone before somebody's around is going to abuse them, and they don't have that, you got to call the county, and you don't get anybody on the line. And if they call you back, they're going to get abused five times more. So you promised that you would beat that department up, and I think that is a very, very major thing. And finally, we're at the market. Look at this market. A gem for the city of Cleveland. Do you know on its 100th anniversary, Several years ago, not long ago, it was said to be the best market in the world. And the, the city of Cleveland and the council have let it go down the tubes. And you shop at the market as I do in Councilman Valencic. Uh, but the mayor has never shopped there. Uh, and many of the council people, people don't have to shop there, etc. And you know what to do about it, and the vendors love you. You're going to be fair to them. So I'm delighted to endorse you. And I'm sure there's other reasons for my endorsement. Uh, but you fit the bill perfectly. Thanks, Senator. You're welcome. Thank you. And, and you know, I, I just want to say that to be able to stand here with you, Ma Mary Rose is. Uh, is a Cleveland institution. Everybody knows her, and people love Mary Rose Ocar. Why? Because you, you stood for the people whenever in every office you ever held. And when I when I went to Congress, I knew that if I could take the same stands on economic issues as Congresswoman Ocar, that I would be a success in the United States Congress. And so, thank you for so many in so many ways representing this community. And thanks for being here, here with me now, because I, I want to tell you, you, you have the, uh, 
the, the energy and the enthusiasm for public service that I have, and and I'm looking forward to having your help as we as we go forward because there's so many people who have a contribution to give. But Congresswoman Okar is extraordinary in her reach. We'll go to Washington. You know, you know, you've known Joe Biden for years. You were there at the start of his career, as was I. And we go to Washington and get the help that this community needs. I, I, to me, the, the years that, I, that you spent in Washington, the years that I spent in Washington, there are very few people we don't know that we couldn't reach out to on either side of the aisle to get help for our city. And, and the federal government has a lot of money right now. We want to help. And we can. Please do it. is that you care about people. And I forgot to mention the schools. And, and you know the schools, I'm an old educator. You've taught some classes too, here and there. And I have to tell you something. You will listen to those people, because you appoint the school board. The only mayor in the state that appoints a school board, and they're like laptops. You will appoint people and ask the parents and the guardians what kind of a, a school board do you want? What What do your kids need? They know what their kids need. And so I think that education is another major issue in your corner. Well, thank you very much, Congressman Okar. Uh, your support is so meaningful, and it's, it's adding to the growing support that we have. Uh, we're, we're open for any questions that you may have. Could you talk a little bit about like, at what point you decided to make this endorsement, if there were any recent events in the campaign that sort of clinched your uh, decision? Well, I'm a lifelong resident of the city. That's all I needed. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think we attack the problems of our city at all. I, I served under a, a strong leader uh, in, in the city council. Uh, and I didn't serve under a person who didn't understand that the council is a separate but equal branch of government. And, I, and so I can't support somebody who just followed the mayor. Uh, I think that in addition, some of the newcomers are interesting. Maybe Dennis will want to hire them, but they're not ready to be mayor for the needs our city has. You need an experienced person. So when I thought of every person, uh, I thought, well, they have certain assets, but he has that experience and that ability to care about regular people. And nobody, Dennis saved our municipal life plan. And nobody can buy send, uh, Dennis off. He has total integrity. And so that was, uh, that, and I talked to him about what he would do. And, and he um, really has some great ideas that I never thought of. <laughs> and frankly, I think, uh, I think the idea of training police, which is your idea, fabulous. That's what they need. You know, one of the things that I, I want to add is it, it, in response to your question, I call Congresswoman Okar frequently and ask for her opinion. Before I ask for her support, I would call you and ask for your opinions on things because I value the way that she looks at things in the city because of her, her years of experience, more experience than most people around. And so, you know, to, to have her advice, which I've taken along the campaign route, uh, and then the moment came where I said, well, you know, I'd love for you to, to openly support me and, but that, that came as a result of, you know, many, many phone calls uh, and relationships. So it's not just, you know, some spur of the moment thing. I, again, I'm so grateful. Any other questions before we take it in? That's it. Uh, thanks to each and every one of you. For being and you know what, there's one thing I wanted to mention. We're both lifelong residents of this city. That's a little different than some other people. Uh, you've always said, your address on Milan Avenue, and I live down the street from the West Side Market. And, and we're, we're part of the people, and that's what you are. That's so important to be uh, identified with the vast majority of people who are in need, especially. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.
All right. Okay, we did 